Hi there, it's Nanny Sue Coinseeker here. Uh, so today we're going through some posts which um, I've received, various different ones, all coin related. And um, so without delay, we'll get straight into it. So uh, first one here, this uh, I believe is not from eBay as it looks like it is. We'll move these out of the way for a minute. Um, and this is from uh, Ian Lambert of the Great British Coin Hunt and we did a swap, uh, he was doing a swap thing and he I swapped some, I uh, can't remember what it was now but it was a smaller denomination coin for um, a Navy Centenary uh, and this is what he sent me. So we have here the half penny and the one penny from 1972 and the same with this one might be as if we can get that out actually yeah, we can packaging not very good again so uh here we have Half penny there, yeah, which we no longer have, and this is from the year nineteen seventy two, if it will focus. No, it doesn't want to focus. Let's see if we can hold it out a bit. Tiny coin from my fingers. No, it doesn't want to focus on that at all. So, and I believe that 1972 are NIFCs in the half penny. And the penny, being that the decimalisation was brought in in 1971, so presumably they were all mass-produced uh, um, minted figures for the first year. Um, so this is a lovely shiny one. So I was pleased to get this to go into my date run. That's a... You can just about see there. 1972. Lovely, lovely, good condition coin there. With the new penny on it to go into my date run so I was pleased to get that so um, thank you very much for that swap so that's that one and then we have what have we got next so this is I did open it briefly because I've been waiting so long for it and many of you would have seen it already but as you can see it is the 2020 annual coin set and I wasn't able to get it before I uh, didn't manage to pick up one of the um, Team GB 50p's and so I really wanted one of those so um, I will just briefly open it although many of you have probably seen it but I have to say that I was very very impressed some of these coins look so much nicer when you see them absolutely lovely and I've just there's all the definitives there and then we can see in here it's just lovely to see 2020 on a coin I think and particularly on the two pound coins I think it really looks lovely and there's the Britannia Tania should I say so and then we move on to the five pound coin which I'm not overly bothered about but don't mind having it as an extra and then as we go along obviously the best ones are the two pound coins and when they first came out, I have to say that this was my favourite, the Agatha Christie. 
and there it is, the cupra nickel. Um, but having seen them in the set like this, the actual coin, there's the victory coin. Again, not as keen on this coin, I have to be honest. But obviously what it stands for is more important really, I think. And then this is the beauty, I think. The Mayflower coin. It is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it's only since I've got the and seen the coins in real that I've changed my mind. And this is now my favourite one of the £2 coins rather than the Agatha Christie. I think the Agatha Christie ones, it's much harder to see the items you know the little items i thought that in the pictures they looked a lot clearer but they're not as clear when you're actually looking at the coin because of the puzzle pieces and that it's too busy so yeah so the mayflower is definitely my favorite and uh there you go the coin specifications there there is some information at the top about all the coins but i won't show you that because you've seen them probably lots of times now and here we go this is the one that everybody wants now because of them cancelling the um the olympics to 20 uh, 20 olympics now hopefully being held next year and nobody knows what's going to happen with the coin um there's lots of speculation about whether it'll be the new one of 2021 or whether it will still have 2020 or whether it will even happen at all of course so so yeah so i'm really, really pleased so i'll have a very quick look at the obverse of these coins uh, if they will focus again, so well, not so bad this time. So that's obviously the 50p, and then we've got the Mayflower, which is the background as well. There is just it's gorgeous. I just absolutely it's really nice. And the B day, and Agatha Christie herself. And then obviously, I think it's the Richard the Third, is it? The five pound coin, and then the definitives here. So yeah, so really, really pleased with these, and I was a bit worried that we weren't going to get the sets. And talking to some other people on live streams, we were all worrying that we weren't going to get them. So when this came, I was really, really happy that I finally got a fifty p, even if it is in the set. So I still will have to try and get one to go in my album, but. We will surely pick one up at some point. So, so yeah, so that's the 2020 set. Um, really pleased with that. So, we'll pop that one away. Um, we will put it back into its packaging. Ooh. Sorry about that. I should have left it till after this the video. And right now, this one I believe is a trade I did with somebody, but I don't quite know what's happened in here. But the coins, as you can hear, are very loose, and so which is a bit of a shame. So we'll open this. So, what have we got? Oh, a bit of tissue in. Oh, so it was obviously wrapped and it's obviously all come out. So, never mind, mind you. So, what have we got here? So, I believe these are. I did a swap with somebody. Um, so, this is a Taylor of Gloucester and Brexit coin uh, that I did a trade with. Uh, aviation media i believe i traded with and they needed a coin which i had and um, it slips my mind now which one it was um and so uh i said that's fine i had it and i sent it off to them um so yeah so that's those coins uh and then we've got some of these which i think are look very much like change checker 
I'm just going to open it as you can see and then okay, we'll get rid of the paper and the, the other bit so yes yeah, so change checker so what have we got in here so long, long ago since I've uh, bought some of this stuff dump here right ah oh yeah there's a change checker card um, so we've got three of the dinosaur coins so this is the I think this must be the second one the third one's not out yet so this is the Iduanodon and uh, there we go nice the dinosaur set I think actually and uh, as you know, I have my grandchildren that collect as well, and so, hence why we always have to order three of everything. So, yeah, that's the second of the dinosaurs. So we have another one here. more rubbish <laughs> trying to sell you more another train change check card there Let's pop all that down there let's have a look what we've got in this one ah so this is my be day coin which change checker we're doing this special carded one um i believe it is a limited edition so the victory uk 2020 victory in europe two pound coin as you can see there's the two pound coin there nice to get it in a card like this i quite like this one so this is a edition number 928 and uh so I'm not sure if we can get into this and have a little look at it uh probably not there we go that was going to come in there like that so we've got the two pound coin there and a victory bit there and then in here you can see is a certificate of authenticity 2020 marks 75 years since VE Day signifying the official end of the Second World War across Europe. Your change check a limited edition display card features the 2020 UK VE Day two pound coin struck by the war mint, which has been carefully encapsuled in its official change checker packaging and certified as superior, brilliant, uncirculated quality. Your display card has also been numbered within the strict worldwide edition limit of 4,995 so nearly 5,000 so not too bad others you know have more on them but I, I thought that was quite nice that card and then obviously we've got the depictions there of celebrations well, that's nice a nice something that will keep safe there so we've got that one there we go so yes we've got that one so and this one is rather large but I think this is something that I ordered um, 
it's a set that you can collect but actually I ordered um, it was a free coin from the London Mint and they've got quite a few at the moment actually um, and this is obviously all about the monarchs um, pictures and all the information and then you have the option there to collect all five um, but that wasn't compulsory to get the free coin and it comes with a it's a King George the fifth silver serpents um, and I think they've given out quite a few of these there uh, I think they were giving them out a little while ago but I either misplaced mine or uh, so it, this one has arrived now so that's nice so I'll have a closer look at the coin if you can see it of course it is that tiny you get all these big capsules and collection sets and when you actually look at it it's uh i'm not sure whether we'll see it very well with the uh, reflection probably just got a reflection of me in there <laughs> an awful face reveal seem to get that I think it's the black background that's in there but uh, it's got quite a few marks and things on it actually but I think these were advertised as sort of used ones or, or whatever that they, they gave out so that's that one that I got and I just thought well it's a freebie so I'll, I'll have that one um, it's got quite a lot of wear on the front, actually. I don't know whether you can see it very well. You can just tip it, you can see it's quite, um, yeah, that's better. And that is a, what year is that? It's a bit of a job to see, actually. But, um, a quick look and see if I can see it closer up. I need to get my spectacles out can't actually see the date on it it's too small to see oh hang on 1920 I think that says on the back there you can make that out not easily across there across the middle there it says 1920 going across there so yeah so that's uh, that one so that's my little um collection for the post for for this month and um i have got some other things coming so i will be getting the, the dinosaurs um and uh so yeah but this, I think, uh, I like this one. My favourite one out of today's post, I think. Um, in the little booklet. So, thank you very much for watching my video. It's 1972 NRFC ones, half penny and penny. I do, um, I will just say actually that the, um, the sixpence, uh, the threepence coin from the London Mint office, they actually have some uh, two or three free coins available um, to people, one per household. There's a Vera Lynn one, I'm not sure if it's a five pound coin, and there's also a Churchill one uh, available. You just fill in your details and you get sent one free. So if anybody's interested in having a look at that, that's at the London Mint office. Um, go and take a look. Uh, I'll put the link in if I can. Um, I can work out how to do it. So, so all we've got to do now, just very quickly, is we'll just have a little scratch off of our uh, cards here. Let's use this Brexit 50p. Let's see what we've got here, because we do have a, a collection of uh, cards. Let's see if we can guess what we're going to get here. Uh, so, oh yes, so the dreaded but the lovely Benjamin Bunny. But I haven't got him yet, so... We will, uh, another one to add 
to the collection. What have we got for a Benjamin Bunny fact today? So this was the final coin in the Beatrix Potter 2017 series. So that's that one. And then this one, let's just have a quick look and see. Hmm. An Olympic, I think that one is. I don't think I have any Olympic ones. Let's scratch a little bit more. Yep, I think myself that that is Olympic cycling. Let's have a little look. Let's put it down. Yep, Olympic cycling, which I don't believe I have that one. So that's two more new ones for the for the book. And so the key fact on this one is winning design chosen by the Royal Mint belong to Theo Quatchley Mack, an art student and a keen cyclist from Yorkshire. Well done him. So yeah, so that's two more of those for for the collection. Just quickly show you before I say goodbye, these are the ones that we've got so far. We've got the uh, EC Presidency, and these are in here in the order of which I got them, so that was the first one. We've got the Roger Bannister. We've got the D-Day, 1994, 50p. We have the NHS, 50p. And we have Paddington at the station, so two new ones to go in there. So... That's good. And I believe that we've got some swaps coming as well. I think um, I've got somebody that's got a couple of spare ones as they've got doubles. So we'll have a couple more in there. My grandson likes these ones. He normally helps on my videos. So, so yeah. So that is this week's post. Um, some quite nice little things in there. Thank you for watching my video. Um, like the video, please. If you enjoyed it and um, hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified next time I upload um, hopefully there'll be some coin hunts coming soon when we can get back to getting change um, and you can subscribe to my channel that would be very kind so thank you very much and I'll say goodbye to you now bye